Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes Designed to Taste and See that the Lord is Good. We're going through the book of Psalms here on Coffee Break, and we come today to Psalm 35, verse 22. This thou hast seen, O Lord, keep not silence, O Lord, be not far from me. God sees. That should be a comfort to those who are suffering unjustly. He sees. He knows if you are suffering for righteousness sake, if you're missing out on good that the world experiences because you live for Jesus and you won't compromise. He knows that you are experiencing bad because of your stand for the written word of God. He sees it. God sees, and since he cares, he will act. A good parent doesn't let their child get picked on without eventually stepping in, and neither will God. 23. Stir up thyself and awake to my judgment, even unto my cause, my God and my Lord. He is asking God to prove that he isn't an uncaring witness of wrongdoing. He politely asks God to avenge injustice with justice. 24. Judge me, O Lord, my God, according to thy righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. He's asking God to deliver justice because he is a God who does what is right. David would certainly be helped through justice, but more importantly, God's righteousness would be put on display. 25. Let them not say in their hearts, Ah, so would we have it. Let them not say, We have swallowed him up. In other words, God, show my enemies who are treating me so unfairly, who are being so bad to me. Show them that they can't get away with hurting one of your children. 26. Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice at mine hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. In other words, let those who enjoy my suffering themselves suffer. God will cause suffering on all those who cause his children to suffer. Always remember that revenge is not our business. It is God's business because justice is God's business. 27. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them, be let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, which hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. So there were those who could not help David, but would have. And they did sympathize with him. And David prays, reward them. And God will. God rewards us for right attitudes. 28. And my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise all day long. David says, I'll tell, I'll tell everyone how good you are, God. God is good. No matter how things are going for us, no matter how things are, God deserves to be exalted because he is always good. If you would like to study the word of God with me, Genesis through Revelation, verse by verse, using my audio Bible messages, you can do that at the thebibleversebyverse.com. Click and listen. That's all you have to do. And if you would like to be a part of this ministry, pray for me. Pray for God's word. Also, when you take a break from studying at the thebibleversebyverse.com, Go to the front page, click the donate button, and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. Until next time, so long.